In sweep number 20, we're looking at the multiplying by three facts. For this set of facts, we use the strategy of doubles plus one more set. In other words, we rely on students' knowledge of the doubles or multiplying by two facts, and we add on another one of the multiplier. So for example, I'm going to put the graphic up here. Uh, seven times three can be thought of as double seven, which is 14, plus another seven, 14 plus seven is 21. That fact is an example where the addition is a little bit tricky, 14 plus 7, but the students should know 4 plus 7, so it's not too bad. Uh, looking at the turnarounds, let's say 3 times 9, we do exactly the same thing. 2 times 9 is 18, that should be a 9 fact. We'll add on another 9, 18 plus 9, that's a near 10 fact, and so on. So there it is. And just one more comment, you can see I'm using uh, as it were, virtual counters on the display here. We've got the same thing in the PowerPoint files in the Think Bubble resources that go with this program. And I recommend that if your students are having any trouble at all with any of the strategies that you use, concrete or physical materials, to represent the thinking strategy that you want them to follow so that they can see um, the meaning behind the double plus one more set. That's it for this sweep. I'll see you next time.